know, he was represented. Um, other than that, uh, we do not get involved with your little organizations in there. We never did and we never will. So I just want to bring that to everybody's attention. I, I know we have these maps here outlining the positions of all the proposed lights. Have the people that signed all these uh, petitions, have they been privy to this information so they know if, in fact, there's going to be a light pole in the middle of their yard? It won't be in the middle of their yard. It's well, it's right in the front of the yard. It's all been available in Tracy's office. I don't know whether anybody's availed themselves of the opportunity to look at it. Does anybody want to look at it quick? Yes. Why don't you come up and look at the map? Or take one of our maps. Give me five of the maps. Make you walk back. Okay. Take these maps out back there. Take a look at it. You can tell they're not numbered though by houses, but they really should be able to figure it out. They should so be able to tell about where they are. While they're doing that, do you want to explain how you designate where the poles go? Here you go. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 Thank uh, we try to do it with as little damage to anybody's property. We don't try to cut driveways to avoid it. Um, but basically, that's what it is. Grade changes, curves, intersections. And then a certain spread of light we're trying to get in the area. Uh, sometimes it falls on somebody's property. They're not as happy about it. But unfortunately, we look at the best layout we think we can make for the area. And that's what we go with. I think there was a gentleman out here who had a question on the uh, pricing. you want to ask the can you ask him if you just like We just want to know what the price that you gave an estimate is that is that continuous like forever and ever? No, no. It's no, it's it's yearly based on our, our tariff for that year. So our tariff this year these lights work out to approximately thirteen thousand and change for the twenty five lights we're installing. Then they break it down by the amount of people that are involved. That's how you come up with your I think one hundred and thirty nine which is gonna change which is less or less. One thirty nine one thirty nine twenty five per parcel. And that will not they could remain one hundred thirty nine twenty five for a while. Yeah, it but could. it's like anything else. Yeah. It could and go up. But as rates go up, it's not like oh I bought this light, it's my price forever, because we maintain it forever. So as our tariff price goes up, we we increase those prices at the top, but this is a common thing with all the okay, So it's not like after 20 years the lights are paid for and just paid for the lights? No, no, it's no. no. So, no. So fact, you have that. to keep them approximately, uh, I think, 15 years before you can even take them out. If you take them out before that, you are responsible for the cost of putting them in. So nobody else to get involved in that, and I'm sure that won't happen. But, yeah. Thank you. Has everybody had an opportunity to look at the maps? Any questions? I'm not sure you really can tell unless you can count down from the corner of your house because there's no numbers on there. You know where you go. All right. <laughs> Any questions, concerns? Is there going to be a vote on it at some point? The town board will vote on it. <coughs> okay, just one question. How did this, how did this, again, David Martin, 6279, I don't know. How did this all come about for the extension of this? We were approached by an individual that lives in the crossings. The, the town board actually received a petition for over 60% of the assessed value in there to establish the, extend the district, excuse me, to the whole area. Okay, something, we do not start any type of lighting districts from up there. Yeah, I was just curious, you know, because I was wondering why they didn't do it with post lamps with, you know, dust of dawn, you know, lights or something right. like that, which right. made sense, you know. Exactly. And a lot cheaper in the long run. <laughs> a lot cheaper. Any other questions in, in regards to the maps that everybody has? I'll close the public hearing at this time. So, the town board comments? <clears throat> Any comments from the board? If the town board's going to act, if you would just do it on the resolution that's prepared, it will delete those four island road properties from that resolution. So, be motion to approve as presented. Um, I'm just going to ask the question. No, that's okay. Um, just so it's known, I'm not a real big proponent of the, uh, of the street lights. Um, in that letter, that party 
that didn't like the uh, the idea also states that they had put up a carriage lamp in their front yard. Now the cost of putting one of those up is a one-time cost, and you're going to pay whenever you turn the light on or turn it off. Um, street lights, on the other hand, as we just told you, are going to be there forever. There's going to be a tariff on those forever on your on your house taxes. Um, I think you get just as much coverage with if you know if the people went and installed those carriage lamps in their front lawns, you're going to get just, just as much light in your neighborhood. And that way, you turn it on when you need it. You turn it off. You can put timers on. You can do anything you want. That's just what my stance. Is. That's true. A lot of people I've, uh, in that neighborhood, even like, well, one smart thing about the crossings and, and what they've done over there is pass petitions for the whole district. Right now, over the past years, I think we have seven or eight different lighting districts, and what happens, each road would come in one at a time and extend the district, extend the district. Uh, but uh, the effort, it seemed like here, was the whole district was covered, the whole crossings of the neighborhood. Uh, so that was probably uh, from a county measure, Gene, that's going to be easier for you, but uh, uh, you know, overwhelmingly the majority of the property owners, owners in the area did sign the petition to have the board consider it. So it, it sounds as if they, as a group, as a group they want it. They want street lights. I believe we have a motion on the floor for approval as stated by Heather. No, a second. Mr. Conway. You know, we've only got, I think, if I'm not mistaken, 30 houses that are in there now? No. Is that what well, it is? 133, 133 parcels. We've got 133 parcels, but how many houses have we got? It's almost 100. It's pretty much pretty, it's almost pretty good. Take out that four, it's like 99. So take out Island Road. Okay, it would be 99, right? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, there's almost 100 houses that are completed already. There is 100 houses completed over yes. there? Yes, and there are not that many vacant lots anymore. No, well, if there's 100, if we take four out, we're down to 99. Well, even lots right? that don't have houses on them are included within the district. Right, that's what yeah. I thought. But there's 130-something lots total, correct? There's but only but there's no houses built on. Thank there's no houses on it. They didn't have a say in the uh, petition either, right? They could have, but they didn't. <laughs> okay, I'll vote yes. Ms. Tarwacki? Yes. Mr. Ryback? No, as I've stated, no. Mr. Coral? Uh, I'll vote yes, and uh, just so uh, people know, this approves, which it sounds like it will. The lights will not go in until next year. I don't think we really explained that. That'll be part of our budget process this year. To add a, a line item, and my understanding it won't be until 2010 when they're installed. My understanding was about three months. If you told me it's something else, we can do something <laughs> else. Well, like we, it. well, we can put them in in three months, but we just won't pay until next year. Right. right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. <laughs> when you give us the approval, that's when they're going in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Mr. <Okay>. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Thanks.